The Sydney Roosters have taken another stride towards the ultimate footballing fairy tale by walloping Gold Coast in front of almost 45,000 fans in the first preliminary final at Suncorp Stadium. Whatever the outcome, this was always going to be a significant night in the history of Australian Rugby League. The tricolours were on the cusp of making the transition from wooden spooners to grand finalists. While no side from the Gold Coast had progressed to the big one, and after having the week off, John Cartwright's crew were fresh and raring to go. They almost conjured up a stunning start when Matt Rogers peeled off a perfectly judged banana kick for Kevin Gordon. I think Kevin Gordon has come down with it. The Titans speedster couldn't quite bring it off, and the hands of his fellow flanker William Zillman also failed when it came to defusing one at the other end. A chance here for the Sydney side. It proved to be a hefty blunder, with the Bondi boys striking on the last tackle from their gifted set. There's a try for Parrott. He's only just out of the words. He comes up with the plays you don't expect. As expected, this game swiftly evolved into a duel between the playmakers. And after Pierce had his say, Prince replied with his radar-like boot. Zilman, did he get the ball down? It took several showings before Bill Harrigan gave the green light and the vast contingent of Titan supporters who had headed up the highway found their voice. The captain's composure under pressure was evident as he turned four into six. Prince has got this from the sideline. The first two tries of the evening had stemmed from kicks, but the third was all down to beautiful hands. Now to Sam Parrott. Sam Parrott's got himself a double. Todd Carney was also cool when it came to converting. He's kicking beautifully, isn't he, Todd Carney? With his side down by six, Prince went probing and almost exposed the chooks. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he's got, hurt too. Yeah, got hit by a swinging arm here. The champion halfback stayed down, and it wasn't hard to see why, with Carney catching him high, leading to the Dally M winner being placed on report. The Titans declined to take the two, but missed out on six as well with the possession from that penalty. And that ensured the difference would still be a converted try following a frenetic first 40. After being man of the match in the qualifying final defeat of the Warriors, Zillman was having a tough night at the office with another error giving the Roosters an ideal attacking platform. And it almost proved to be as costly as his previous blunder. looking for grounding, he's looking for onside. This time, the Titans got a let off when Mitch Orbison missed out by a matter of centimetres. Zillman was presented with the chance to make amends after some rare Gold Coast enterprise. And it was only the sheer desperation of the opposing skipper that stopped him. Here's a chance. Did the corner post go? Did he get it down? The post is not important. Did he get it down with his body? But there was no halting Daniel Conn when he crashed over for a crucial try against his former club eight minutes into the second stanza. Connell score! Daniel Conn under the upright! The well-travelled second rower had given his side their biggest advantage of the match before another of the back rowers booked an unlikely ticket to the biggest stage of all. It was one of those nights where very little went right for the Titans, and that included Prince's attempts to bring off a late escape. Here's your penalty. And that's all she wrote. Carney added two just for cosmetic purposes, but the red, white and blues weren't done with the scoring and finished off in the final minute as they again showed how good teams make their own luck. Oh, New Asala's come up with a rebound and Frank Paul, the wrecking ball, has got the final. That was the ideal way to cap a polished and professional performance by Brian Smith's revitalised outfit, triumphant by an emphatic 32 points to 6.